We used to think that shaving our heads was an essential part of getting a hair graft, but it's actually possible to get a graft without having to go through this process. Today we are going to tell you how this is possible, how it's done and what advantages it has. Many people feel insecure about getting a graft because it means having to shave their head which can damage their self-esteem. As a result, many people are looking for alternative ways to hide the treatment. One such alternative is a graft without shaving the head. But how do you know if you are a suitable candidate for this technique? First, you will need to undergo a medical analysis to determine if you are eligible for this type of graft. The doctor will review some important data to make this determination. For example, it's important to have long hair to cover the necessary area without shaving the head. Additionally, your alopecia must be localized to a single area and not spread across your entire scalp. This is because a more widespread alopecia will make the process much more complicated and it may not be possible to do the graft without shaving your head. The main goal of this technique is to hide the graft itself as well as the fact that you have had one done. This helps to maintain your privacy and avoids any potential embarrassment or discomfort. There are several celebrities such as Iker Castellas and Rafael Nadal who have had a graft without covering their heads and have tried to keep it completely anonymous. So what are the methods for performing this technique? While there may be expectations that allow us to carry out this graft without shaving the head, two methods are commonly known. Additionally, each clinic may have its own personalized method. Ultimately, the most important thing is to find a method that works for you and your unique situation. If the patient has long hair, it may be possible to perform a partial shave where only the necessary donor area is shaved without having to completely shave the head. This allows for the donor area to be concealed as the shaved area grows and is gradually covered by surrounding hair. Another option is a local shave technique which requires patient to have long hair. With this technique, only small fragments of the donor area are shaved and the remaining hair falls over the shaved area, creating a curtain-like effect that conceals the shaved area. It's important to note that not all patients are suitable for these techniques and individual details must be taken into account when determining the best approach. Another technique that can be used to perform a graft without shaving the head is the FUE technique. The advantage of this technique is that there is no need for any type of shaving as it is a completely different technique from the previously mentioned techniques. With the FUE technique, a thin band of skin with hair, measuring about 15 to 20 cm long and 1 cm wide, is obtained from the back or side of the head. The donor area is then closed with the stitches, which are typically removed two weeks after the procedure. The resulting scar is usually completely concealed by surrounding hair, creating a very natural and satisfactory result for the client. Now, what are the benefits of a hair graft without shaving the head? There are many advantages, which one of the most significant being that it can be completely undetectable, leaving you with a natural looking result. The procedure is also minimally invasive and has a fast recovery time, which can range from 24 hours to 2 weeks depending on the technique used. However, there are some drawbacks to this method since only a single local area is used. It can be more challenging for the surgeon and obtaining a large number of follicles may not be possible. Additionally, since the receiving area is not shaved, the survival of the transplanted hair may be limited. It is essential to consult with your doctor to determine if this type of graft is necessary and to choose a reputable clinic to perform the procedure. Don't forget to subscribe our channel and share this video on social media. You can also visit the official blog of mycapple.com for more information on hair care and hair loss treatments. If you found this topic helpful, let us know in the comments below and feel free to suggest other topics you would like to see in the future videos. Thank you for watching and we will see you in the next video. Goodbye.